let's be honest. Podcasting can be just a tad overwhelming. I mean, sometimes it's even a challenge just to keep up with recording, let alone with the artwork and the audio leveling and the transcripts and all of those things. That's why you'll love these three podcasting adjacent apps that will make your workflow oh so much easier. And they are all under $100. Hello, my name is Elsie Escobar. I am a longtime podcaster and I have 15 plus years of consistent podcast production under my belt. I am also Lipson's community manager and this is Lipson's YouTube channel where we strive to make sure that we address all things podcasting to make it easy and doable just for you. Lipson hosts over 76 thousand podcasts and we provide all of the things to distribute your show everywhere but podcast hosting is just one thing a very important thing but it is just one thing there are other apps out there that can help your podcast production be simpler and easier and we're going to talk about a few of them i've tested and worked with so many apps out there and over the years i've let go of a few of them because they created a little bit more of a headache for me but there have been some some that have fundamentally changed my life and how much simpler and easier it is for me to get this whole podcasting thing done. In this video, I will share with you three of my top apps to help you with your podcast production. All of them are cross-platform, all of them solve one thing very, very well, but are extremely expandable to do more than just one thing. And all of them are under a hundred dollars. In fact, two of them are free. Let's start with one of those free ones. Say hello to Canva. Head over to canva.com and open up a free account. They have over 250,000 templates, 100 plus design types like social media posts, TikTok and real templates and even Twitch templates. Now, what does Canva have to do with your podcast? Podcast artwork is a huge part of podcasting. You can create your awesome podcast cover art right within Canva. In fact, you can create templates for even episode artwork right within that service. Canva will solve most of your graphic design needs, even beyond podcasting. And you can always open up a pro account in case you want a little bit more from Canva. The next app is Descript. Descript's biggest offering to podcasting has been their visual audio podcast editing suite. So what happens with that is, is you edit your audio in the same way that you would edit a Google Doc. So it is just words, right? You transcribe your audio, you see the words, and you can cut and paste the doc itself and have that translate into the actual audio file. I'm not going to walk you through all of the things that Descript has to offer, but I am just going to tell you that you do need to have this tool in your podcasting toolbox. Even if you don't edit your show using Descript, you can use it for other parts of your podcasting promotional workflow. You can create very easily audiograms. You can also create transcripts and you can also even edit video on the fly. And yes, for free. The free account gives you three hours of transcription, full audio and video editing. If you are going all in with Descript, there are other accounts that get you so much more and you can always upgrade to a paid plan. Have you ever used Canva or Descript? I'd love to hear your experience. 
Drop your workflows in the comments. I know that they're going to be so helpful to so many podcasters. And now my most favorite pick of all, the awesome app that is called Aphonic. It is also free. You also need to open up an account over at Auphonic.com and that gives you two free hours of audio processing a month. What exactly does audio processing mean at Auphonic? Auphonic is essentially an audio post-production web service for podcasters. They have an intelligent leveler, loudness normalization, audio restoration, and so much more. If you have lots of audio tracks with different loudness levels, Auphonic can help. If you happen to have some audio that you feel could sound better, run it through Auphonic. I cannot tell you how many times Auphonic has helped me do just the couple of things I just mentioned right before this. I produce a show called The Feed, the official Lipson podcast, as you see here on my t-shirt. And in that show, we often feature lots of 30-second promos of other podcasters. We often have a lot of audio feedback. And sometimes all of those bits are so many different types of loudness levels that don't really fit as a whole. And running all of those bits through a phonic always helps my podcast sound the best that it can. I love it so much. Although you can use the tool for free on the website, you can always buy more hours for a very minimal fee. And if you fall in love with the product and you don't want to mess with buying more hours, you can always purchase a license to their desktop version for $89. That's it for my three podcasting adjacent apps to help you with your podcast all under $100. I hope that using Canva for your graphic needs and the script for your transcription and audio and video editing needs and a phonic for your post-production needs is gonna help you streamline your workflow for your podcast because you know what? It did me. Thank you so much for hanging out with us over here on the Libsyn channel and do consider watching the whole podcasting under 100 series as well as subscribe to this channel and like this video. And as always, keep podcasting.